just got through firing a Century Arms Polish model 1960. This is a milled AK-47 variant. It is not a common stamped AKM type. Lots of little differences. Collectors know and like. Probably most standard shooters won't. Some things that people who are just into shooting would like about this has nice wood furniture. These were built from nice condition kits. It has a milled receiver, which common internet lore seems to think says it makes them more accurate. This comes from Arsenal's advertisements from back in 2004 when they were starting because they were selling milled receivers. I don't know. It's just different. I don't know that it really affects accuracy that much. One nice thing, it has a nice polished bolt group. It slides back and forth very easily. Hardly hangs up at all over the trigger, which is common with AKs. The trigger is a Tapco double hook, not a single. So it's a very nice short tra trigger pull. It has a medium heavy barrel. You can't really see it because most of what's heavier is underneath the handguard, but even up here it's a little thicker than a standard AK. Some uh, specifically AK-47 features. It has the, the Type 1 bayonet lug, which is the two little prongs up here near the cleaning rod. The bayonet snaps over them. It has a ported gas tube. Three ports here, three ports on the other side. That's just a different style. It's not better, it's not worse. Again, of course, it's milled. It has the double tang like a mill gun top, bottom. The stock is swept down just a little bit compared to an AKM. Has an original Polish Bakelite pistol grip. The cleaning kit stored in the butt stock. Basically, I love this gun. I was really happy when they came out because before this, the only good representative milled AK pieces were either custom builds from kits that cost a thousand or more or arsenal guns which except for the classic which is a uh, classic style most of the arsenals have a 90 degree gas block and just some other more modern features like the lighter AKM type barrel long story the a lot of the arsenals like the SAM7 standard are not true AK47 clones they're kind of a hybrid this came out from Century a couple of years ago and for the money they're great I mean they're, they're six seven hundred dollars they're made from very nice Polish kits. This is a receiver made by ATM. They're kind of an unknown company, but no one has complained about any major issues with them. They seem that they got it right. It's a, it's a good forged receiver. The barrel is fine. It, yes, it's a US made barrel. No, it's not chrome lined. I wish it was the original Polish barrel. Who doesn't? Talk to your government. I did put a uh, muzzle nut on the end to be more early AK. Uh, one last feature, I've got an early steel slab side mag in here, which I got from a good friend. He gave it to me several years ago. It's a Russian mag. This is like what they used on the, on the early 1950s AKs before they went to the rib style. You can see it? But yeah, I have um, just really like this gun for what it is, and it's unfortunate that they're kind of hard to get today. We're going to go on with a couple more Polish guns to keep the thing going. Thanks. Just got through firing another Century Polish gun. This one is an AKMS Sporter, and it's built off a Polish AKMS underfolding parts kit. It has uh, the underfolding butt stock, standard AKM style, bulged palm swell handguards here, standard AKM lightweight barrel, AKM style slant flash hider muzzle brake, stamped receiver. Made by Nodak Spud, I believe. I do have an original Polish uh, sling on it here. They're good slings. Standard AKM magazine with the ridges. Pretty much at a great example of a Soviet pattern AKMS underfolder. Nothing too special or flary about it. They're made well. Again, you have U.S. receiver, U.S. barrel. They talk to your you know, government about the laws that passed, I'm sure Century would just prefer to use the originals too. It has a TAPCO single hook trigger group, which is appropriate for an AKM. Shoots well, made from good Radom parts, and I've had really great luck out of these. This is my personal one.
said, like I said, it's good if you're looking for an underfolder. It's not a bad one out on the market. They go for, you know, $550 or so if you can find them right now. It's kind of a hard time to find AKs with all the election activity, but I'm sure they'll be available again soon. Just that I would share it. Thanks. And our final gun in a Polish series is the infamous Century Tantal. It's built from Polish WZ88 parts on a Nodak receiver with a U.S. barrel. I've had this one for, I guess, three years now. It's chambered in 5.45 by 39, but it's not really an AK-74. It has several differences. Radem that built these was kind of going for a different approach. The hand guards are retained differently. It has a combination flash hider grenade launcher, whereas the AK-74 just has a muzzle brake. The threads are set further back because the, the barrel protrudes into the device forward. It does have a bayonet lug and an accessory lug. It also has a lug here for a quick detached little clip-on bipod, kind of reminiscent of the old M16 bipods. It has a folding buttstock. It's kind of based off the East German style. Quite a good, stable stock, easy to deploy. Another unique feature is this latch right here that holds the dust cover on. You can push it in with it pressed down, and or when you're you can lock it up, and that keeps the dust cover on securely for firing of grenades and just because. The military ones were select fire, of course, semi, three round, full auto. This one is semi-auto only. When the military did them, the full auto versions, this was the safety, and this selector on the side selected semi, three round, or full. In the century guns, they've linked it, where now this works as a left side safety. You can see. Lower handguards made of Bakelite, upper handguards made of a hard brown plastic. It feeds from 30 round box magazines. This is a later style Polish polymer mag. It's very similar to the Bulgarian 545 mags. The earlier ones also had steel magazines. They are fully interchangeable. This is an original Polish sling. Don't get me started on the whole barrel thing. I don't want to get into it. This one's always done fine. It seems like, if anything, it was a matter of twist rates. Century did three different twist rates in the beginning, and also keeping in mind that not all 545 ammo is the same. Look at surplus from Bulgaria, surplus from Russia, surplus from Poland, new production out of Romania. There are different weights. Different weights, different twist rates. That's all I'm going to say on the peril issue. But this one's been a good gun. They were affordable when I got it. I actually bought this one during the 2008 election panic and had it ever since. No plans to sell. It kind of completes my Polish lineup, whereas the first two guns we looked at were more or less exact copies of, of the Soviet design. This is quite a departure from the Russian and Bulgarian AK-74. Well, that's all we have for today on the Polish guns.